hey everyone welcome to the second video now in this video we are going to take the same code that we saw in the previously that how python can connect to the salesforce now we are going to do a little bit change here and now the whole purpose of this video is ability to talk to your salesforce data now you can definitely write an sql queries sql queries okay give me the lead with the email equals to something or the name equals to something but the in new age i just want to demonstrate like if you go and talk to chat gpt or some other uh, gen model llm model they don't have any idea about your data so what is the best way to still use the llm model securely on your data and at the same time ability to talk to it so that the model is aware about the context now this video I'm running the code on my local system, but we already proved the concept and the ability in the previous video that you can package this in AWS Lambda, which is your instance, and you can have your LLM model running somewhere, maybe SageMaker, and you have full control of your data because data is not going anywhere. Now, in this video, I'm still using OpenAI because I don't have enough balance in my SageMaker account, but the point proves. So coming back to this example, it's exactly same that we discussed in our previous video. There is a minor change I'm doing here. I'm using the library LangChain, very famous library. It is used for embedding and it can store the embedding in your local database. And I'm using my local database Chroma. Now Chroma is a vector database that can get the embedding from the LLM model like open AI and it can store in the chroma and next time onwards we don't need to go to the open AI every time or any LLM model every time we can read the persisted data from the chroma DB already and we can talk to it so in this video we are going to talk to our Salesforce data so we already discussed in the previous video my username password what I have done in this case is I have created a Python file my constants and in that python file it's a key value pair i have all this information i have auth url same i'm not going to explain it you can go and you can check my previous video interesting thing what i did is whatever the content we get that would be stored in this text file and we will work on the top of this text file and if that text file already exists we are going to use chroma db as you can see uh, right now I set persist equals to false right but the concept is really all those embedding would be stored in the vector database and I read that now this loader is coming from Langchain and it has a different type of the loader you can read the directory every file in that directory you can read the text file you can read the JSON it's just a different method and different constructors here so code is very simple uh, we are getting an index from the vector db either from the loader or whatever the information we got and we are using openai again gpt 3.5 llm model so that it can interact or it can understand what we are asking it now like i said this example is on openai but this line can be changed and if you have your SageMaker llm model you can definitely use it and you can package everything you can post it in the lambda function in aws and you're good to go so come in let's run how it is gonna work and just to give you one just to show you this file so this is the file here and as you can see this file has a lot of information a lot of invalid information nulls but let's take this example i'm going to talk to ask information about eugene so if i go back here and I can simply run Python and the name of my file is we just discussed salesforce sf.python let's see what's gonna happen so like what it is going to do is it will ask me for input prompt and depending on what the prompt I do it is gonna call chain method chain go method is going to read my question and it is going to use the database it is not going to use gpt data here too so that's it that is the main concept of rag basically that we are discussing here so if i click here 
drag is retrieval augmented uh, generation and basically you are providing your contextual information to the LLM model so that LLM model understands your data it's the best of both worlds so I'm asking do you know anyone with email let's say this one now this email we know is here that one let's see Do you have any lead with email? Let's see if it answers this one. Yes. So yeah, as you can see, uh, it, the first question was very generic. I updated the question. So it is saying that okay, find the lead with email. So let's see. Did you find any lead with let's assume name Amit? Can you share some more detail about lead? Submit. As you can see, it shared all the information. So, again, this is the second video, and this is the proof that. We can use the concept of embedding and the RAG on the Salesforce data and we would have an ability for our LLM to talk to the Salesforce data. So any business user can talk. Business users does not need to know about SQL, SOQL and really sky is the limit. As, as you can imagine uh, how this LLM model and embedding and the RAG is helping us to really understand our own data thank you for watching this feel free to share a feedback comment if you like to see some other demo uh, that would be awesome